What's crackling, everybody? I'm Grillmaster. Welcome back to Atlas. So, we are currently, as you can see, on Ass Blaster here, and we are on H12. And well, let's see, boop, bust out our map. So, H12 is where the ghost ship is. Where it is exactly, we're not sure. We're going to have to sail, sail around for a while. I had to stop here just so we could get, well, basically so I could die and come back with full health and all that jazz, <laughs> and then catch everybody up. Uh, we have 443 cannons, and all these things are manned, minus three, which they're going to man. And that way we can have everything covered. And uh, got Kopox, got Chubby, we got Nim, and I assume Victor's going to show up eventually? But, yeah, right now that's what we're doing, so we're going to sail out for a while, so it's going to be a minute. But I will see you when we find it. Oh, yeah, they have to go get Discoveries. I don't even think they've done that. But that's what we've been doing. We've been sailing around for a while, so my max level now is, what, 60? Yeah, I can go up to 60 now. <laughs> it's awesome. But, yeah, I'll see you when we find the ghost ship. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Holy crap, it's happening. It's happening. It's actually here. I, it has literally been a day and a half. A day and a half trying to find this flipping thing. And it does not spawn where it shows on the map. It actually spawns. What time is it right now? Just about midnight. I am on F14, though. This does not spawn in the freaking H12. I was very, very pissed when I found that out. So currently, there's not even anybody on, unfortunately. I don't think. Oh! Get to my boat, quick! Wrenchy's <sighs> on. Let's see if I got anybody on Discord. Get to the boat, quick! Get to the boat! What boat? Where is it? My boat, it's on uh, F-15. Ghost ship is here. Oh, let me die. Hang on. I am out. Why does it say... What is that about? What is this? What does this mean? Maybe they're out of... Air. Did they switch the kinds of ammo? Oh, God. We're going to be crossing over cross in the next zone. zone. Which is good. Yeah, I, I think, you, to do I think you have to. I saw a video the other day, and they, they couldn't hit it until it had crossed into another zone. You got a spyglass in here anywhere? No, I don't. I might have lost mine by accident. I feel like they're on the wrong kind of ammo. I am making one in the smith that you won't want or no. No, I'm good. I'm going to cross over and just kind of sit here for a minute. F-13. Hopefully no ship to the ships of the damned. Don't sit there and make sure you keep driving. Yeah, I am. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me when you say, I'm just going to sit here. I'm just going to kind of let it sit there for a second, though. I select ammo. Cannonball. Is that what they're all on? Oh, God. Do I have to manually select? I don't know how to change it, so. I'm just going to double check to make sure that's what it's supposed to be. Yep, that is literally what it is. You want to switch all the cannons for me to cannonball? Uh, can't, I think you can go from the wheel. I don't know how to do it. I pushed a bunch of buttons. I don't see anything. Okay. Damage, damage? Nope, not yet. Alright, everybody target. Bottom deck is gone. Somebody's shooting. Well, I mounted one of the cannons that didn't have There they go. I can't hit him yet, so. Right, it looks like one cannon did something. Yeah, slow down some more. Move more to your right. Okay, there's a full barrage. Yeah, I need to right, kind of turn some. You turn some and then turn back. Slow down. Yeah. <laughs> I basically kill the wind. I'm trying to get in front of him directly. So I don't want him to be able to shoot at us.
killing the wind. Okay, I gotta move some more. Not pointed at him like I was hoping. He keeps it's like he's slightly turned a different direction. Alright, there we go. Kill the wind again. My glass doesn't show him with a hit point bar. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. For other ones, too. Hmm? I keep an eye out for other ones. We're not in the lawless zone, are we? No. Those hit. Yeah, see, I'm seeing hits. It's definitely hitting. I think it's the top row that's hit. I guess it's raining hell down on their boat. And there's no front cannons on this thing, so as long as we stay in front, we should be good. I don't think we're doing it. Maybe we can't do damage to it during the daytime or the nighttime. Nope, nope we did it. Good. Yeah. Well, what's this? There's a book that just popped up on my screen. Get out of here. Yeah. Want to go see if there's any loot? There's got to be something, right? Nope. Just a power stone. Just a power stone? Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Took a screenshot of, uh... Nice! Did you get any discoveries? Yeah, I, I got a discovery and two extra levels now. Yeah, I've got a power stone on my compass now, the green one. Ooh, I didn't even think about that! Let's bust out our compass! Yay, look at the little green power stone! We got our first power stone. Wait. Nice, okay, that went amazingly well. I still have that only took like 125 cannonballs or something. And I don't know how many actually hit. Nice. But I mean, it was also like 16 hours to try to do it. <laughs> I literally spent 16 hours trying to do this. Yeah, they said there was a long story to it. I logged off. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't good. Basically, we I got to H12 finally. Sat there looking around for it for a while, and we started googling how to do it. And it turns out you end up having to like go to freaking. It doesn't even spawn in H12, and it never even goes to H12. And so, <laughs> where where that info come from? Then? Um, wiki, the Google, the wiki Google. Uh, and so then uh, we find out that it ends up going to it spawns at F14, and then moves up, and like it goes in around this giant circle. And I was like, okay, so basically I need to go down there. And then, uh, then from what I was reading, is it only spawns at like for me 4 p.m. Whenever it hits 12 o'clock after 4 p.m. for me, so I have to literally wait until that time in the day. And so I've been waiting around there all day today. <laughs> was it spawn in the middle of F14 and start heading northwest or something? Uh, it starts spawns right at the top. Like I actually saw it spawn in and everything. It was pretty crazy. I just kind of sat there all day, oh, wow. waiting for it to spawn. So just the top corner or the top middle? Uh, top corner? Yeah, the top corner. I wasn't very far down. Very far down. Nice. I didn't I'm gonna go. need a repair hammer or plank. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm actually surprised at how well that went. We just, there's no front cannons, that's all I knew. So I knew as long as I stood in the front, we should have been good. And I didn't want to get too close to it. <laughs> yeah, I watched a video last night of some guys doing it. They tried to shoot it in the zone that it spawned in, and it didn't do any damage at all. They followed it across a server zone and as soon as it crossed the server zone they were able to damage it. Basically one ollie from a brig destroyed it. Oh jeez. Yeah, that didn't seem like it had a lot of life really. Like, I mean, in comparison to any of the other ships of the damned. Yeah. I just heard its hits will basically wreck your stuff like instantly. Yeah, it took, uh, I think they took maybe four or five cannon shots from it and it immediately destroyed the plank that it hit. All right, but there we go. We did it. We did it. We destroyed the ghost ship. So there's the first power stone. There's all that. And we're going to go bounce to the library, though. The new building with the new bookshelves. And things. But I'll see you there. Okay, so we're back at the main base. And you can see there is some more alterations. Um, well, actually, a lot of alterations, really. So there, uh, I built this library. I added a nice little foundation here and there. Got stairs going up, just, you know, this little area right here. And then inside, they added bookshelves to the game. So I got bookshelves all spread across. Everything has its own thing. So we have melee weapons, big gun blueprints, which is basically our uh, cannons and all that stuff. Then we have ranged weapons, <laughs> ship parts, 
what the each kinds of the armor got shields shipyard stone structure wood structure and then we even have music and tools but basically i still have other stuff left for whatever purposes we get in the future but they hold the bookshelves hold a grand total of 280 spots so you can have a ton in here and i mean we got nothing that's even i thought we had a lot but then i put it all in here and really it doesn't it's not as much as i thought but we come up here and i have another one and up even further we have another floor to add more but i have two more up at the top what i was thinking i was gonna put the mythos mythic ones up here but honestly i just kept them together because don't have a ton <laughs> again and at the same time then it's easier just to know what we want so we also did alterations here so the wall i end up changing i end up having to put it into the water and alpha unfortunately killed babar our elephant which rest in peace babar he was so cool he lasted for so long it's been a long time since we've lost an animal to be honest other than in the oceans <laughs> the oceans have claimed a lot whoa i haven't actually seen that ship so we have a large shipyard going this direction which i don't think we can actually build anything in here but it uses it we're using it as basically a dock so i mean if we want to unload a ship all we have to do is hop off fill it up into here and i mean even if it's a ship way down on the end down there you throw it all into here you can just come down here and take it out right there on the dock then just basically walk right over to inside <laughs> so it's super easy and super nice but the small shipyard i was using as a wall there i had to replace with just i put walls into the water because yeah the alpha got in here i don't it could have come off the mountain i was thinking that is possible but i figured if it came off the mountain it would have fallen into that but i don't know i don't know nonetheless <laughs> i feel sad because he died but we still have another elephant so there's that at least so we can still get wood but yeah this library and the bookshelves it's, it's awesome i'm so satisfied with like the bookshelves being here now and just the ability i am I, I like having everything organized. I keep everything really, really organized. And I guess apparently putting signs on stuff is new too, so I can put signs on all these, but I don't think it would work as well because we have everything lined up. And I mean, we even have everything organized, so we have like our thatch and then like fiber and wood and so forth. It just each thing has its own own reasoning for it existing. And then like ones that we commonly use, basically. I highlight it just that way. I could just be like, oh, it's in there, it's in there. You know, <laughs> like arrows and all that jazz. And then, uh, as far as bookshelves go, you need to have stone crafting to do it, like, on the skill tree. But it's, you craft it on yourself, and it, it is rather heavy on the cost in wood. But, I mean, given that it's, you know, I, I think it's probably one of the nicest looking things. Like, these I like, but this is, this is, this is snazzy. Super snazzy. And it looks like that even when there's nothing in there, I think. If I take it all out, yeah, it stays full. It's not like the mess table where the mess table fills up when you actually have stuff in there. Which, one of my solutions as well to keeping people fed was I just put a mess table back here so anybody backs their ship up. It just feeds in like a circle over here. I did kind of the same thing on that end. So, I mean, it's 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 been working pretty well on that front. And, okay, so to reiterate as well, on, on the ghost ship, if you're actually trying to find said ghost ship, like the the best way to do it, is you're gonna want to a for me it's 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, so it's like negative eight GMT. Um, but yeah, that's that's what time it shows up, and this is on the North American servers. Uh, then it shows up in F15, and like right in that area I showed, I can actually go to my Matlas and show you exactly real quick. Let's go right down here. So F14, it popped in right about here on the map. And it sails straight up through here, and I I'm not. I can't tell you 100% how it goes. I believe it goes up to the tens and stays at the bottoms of them, or it goes up to the top of them and goes across. I'm not 100% sure. I know it's on the wiki. I'll try to put a link to it in my description of the video. And then yes, it comes down and goes up here, kind of comes back down and then sails all the way across. And it does just a square is what the picture shows, and it's just a line. So I mean, it really didn't tell me much. So you can see I kind of sailed down through here. And it, this was probably one of the most nightmare sales I've done. And one of the reasons I was so irritated. I mean, I literally rage quit last night when I was doing this. Because I was just like, this is so dumb. When I found out how just insane it is that you have to find that circle. And so I was just like, I'm just, I was so angry about it. <laughs> it was so annoying. Because it just seems like such a waste of time. And I'd already spent so long on it. And I'm like, okay, so how do you even find this thing? And then, yeah, we found the one comment about 5 p.m. Or... 0 p.m. negative 8 hours 
or whatever, and whatever. We found the time that said basically I had to get on at 4 p.m. And then it was 4 p.m. happened, and I'm like, okay, well, it's not going to show up until midnight, so I'm going to wait until midnight, but I'm going to sit out there. So I sat out there for about 20 minutes, and once it showed up, it just popped in, right, like right before midnight. It was there, so I'm hoping that that's going to be the best solution because other people need it to. I left my boat over there so they can go do it, but yeah, this probably wasn't the longest video <laughs> for for uh, actual video purposes, but recording it's funny too because I find that like that happens a lot where my recording time for a video is or the time I put into making said video to do the thing that I want to do, like the ghost ship for instance, it's super long, like two days solid doing it. <laughs> And then it's like, I don't know, it's probably going to be like a 15, 20 minute long video total. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.